My name is Taylor Pumphrey and I'm a senior athletic training major at Emory & Henry College. This past year, I did a case study on an 18-year-old female volleyball athlete who had sustained an anterior acetabular hip labral tear and underwent a hip arthroscopic repair procedure. I created a rehabilitation program based on a hip arthroscopic repair protocol given to my subject by the doctor who had completed the procedure. This program was successful in helping the athlete regain her strength, range of motion, and neuromuscular control in order to return to play. Although this program is a very important aspect of my project, a majority of my research focused now on the risk factors and prevention of this injury. It just so happened that the previous year, one of my subject's teammates has sustained the same injury in the opposite hip. This led me to my clinical question. Are there specific risk factors that place female volleyball athletes at a higher risk for sustaining this injury? To investigate this, I measured the athlete's strength, range of motion, femoral angle, pelvic obliquity, and Q angle of both of the athletes. I then compared these measurements to see if there was a relationship that could prove a predisposing factor for acetabular hip labral tear injuries. I found that the only measurements proven to be abnormal were femoral angle bilaterally, which showed that both athletes had extreme femoral antiversion and limited range of motion and hip external rotation. Because there is no research to support my findings, I cannot conclude that these factors place female athletes at a higher risk for this injury. However, more research needs to be conducted so that acetabular hip labral tears and at-risk athletes can be prevented.